Okay, student, let's see what is there in this question. The mass of Mars is about 10 times the mass of Moon. The radius of Mars is twice that of Moon. What is the escape speed from Mars divided by Moon? So it's not only the Moon, it is the escape speed from Moon. Okay, so don't get confused. So we literally have the formula escape speed is given by twice of G capital M divided by R and we would be using this. There is another formula for the escape speed also, which is 2GR, but this G is the acceleration due to gravity at the surface of the planet or the astronomical object that is not given to us, neither for the moon nor for the Mars. So it's clear cut hint that we are not going to get use this. We would be using this formula. So uh, the ratios are given now. So escape speed for Mars will be, I'm just writing like this, 2G mass of the Mars divided by the radius of Mars square root divided by 2G mass of moon divided by radius of moon. Now I'm, I can get rid of all the constant values by the way and the reciprocal will be um, happening here. So it will be mass of Mars divided by radius of Mars square root multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator that I have so do not get confused this will be our new equation and now we can substitute the values that are given to you like the mass of mars is about 10 times the mass of moon so mass of mars is 10 times this so i can just cancel it like that and it will become 10 so please don't get confused let me club these values the mass of mars divided by mass of moon into the radius of moon divided by radius of mars and overall the power will be half so this can be taken as 10 and the radius of the mars is about twice that of moon so this will become 2 so this is coming out to be 5 so our answer will be literally square root of 5 that's it and that is what is the mark scheme so clearly the answer is a square root of a so the concept is easy the way the procedure that is followed is not that very questionable but yes the arithmetic that we are using might be creating problem for you you have to understand how to deal with these kind of questions finding ratios of the ratios you know like the denominator is going to become the reciprocal here nothing more than that and things will fall in their place okay dear students so this is professor varun and the answer for this question is a thanks for watching please join the youtube channel if you want to watch the lecture series for gravitation all the best